So Scotty finally met one of his favorite artists by the name of K. Michelle. What is up everybody? Everybody that follows me on Instagram or anybody that follows me on Facebook has seen the picture already. If y'all watching my YouTube video, it's probably the thumbnail right now. Everybody wants to know, how did I meet Kate Michelle last night at the concert? And I'm just going to go ahead and explain everything. Everyone knows, if you ever see my Love and Hip Hop Atlanta videos, everyone knows that I am a huge supporter of Kate Michelle. I was a huge supporter of Kate Michelle long before there was a Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I was a supporter of Kate Michelle back in 2009 when the What's the 901 mixtape came out and she was singing on top of the piano singing Where They Do That At and she had a single out called Faking It featuring Missy Haley. So I was here from the very beginning when people was trying to count her out as a, Kate, a Keisha Cole knockoff. You know what I'm saying? So um, it was really crazy to me how much you know how much she has grown over the last couple of years i was following her on twitter back when she only had twenty thousand followers on twitter she followed me back in 2011 me and her um have dm'd each other quite a few times on twitter she's responded to most of my tweets if she hasn't responded to my tweets or dm she has retweeted me uh, me and her have talked on the phone uh, we talked on the phone before um it was like a week before love and hip-hop Atlanta was airing. She had posted her number. She used to do this all the time. She would post her number on Twitter and she would ask all her fans to call in. And I had called in that time, you know, so many times. I had called in. I was like, I'm not gonna stop till I got till I get through. And I got through and I got to talk to K Michelle for like ten minutes. And she knew exactly who I was. I told her what my what my um Twitter name was and everything and she knew exactly who I was. So from that point on it was like when people be saying, Oh, you defending K Michelle and she don't even know who the fuck you are. No bitch. She knows exactly who the fuck I am and it showed at the concert. So then you know what I'm saying? It made me go even harder because I have a lot of favorite artists, you know. I love Monica, I love Mary, I love Keisha Cole and I love Fantasia. But it's a difference when it comes down to K Michelle because Everybody knows that I stand for Monica off the rip. Everybody knows that. But when it comes down to K. Michelle, it's like a different type of standing because this woman has gotten personal with me. Like, I've talked to her on the phone. She recognizes me. She knew it. She knows exactly who I am. So it's, it's very different. It's like I know this woman. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. That's why I go so hard for her. And plus, she knows how much I support her and she knows how I go in for her. So when I found out that she was coming here um, just last month, I was like, there's nothing that's gonna get in my way. I am going to see K. Michelle. She's come here twice already and I missed her, but I'm not gonna miss her this time. So she, I bought my ticket the first day they came out, I bought my ticket. I spent like $72 on that ticket. Damn, they went to overdraft trying to buy that fucking ticket. And last night was the concert and I was so excited um, the week all this week I was posting pictures of K. Michelle on Instagram just to count down to my excitement of going to the concert because number one this is my first concert ever in my 25 years of living this is my first ever concert attending I had never attended a concert until then until now and um you know what I'm saying I was just excited and I didn't really give a damn about John being Carl Thomas being there you know what I'm saying you know I wasn't there for them I was there for K. And, you know, I did enjoy their sets. And um, when they said that Kate was coming out, you know what I'm saying? I was getting very excited because this was going to be my first time seeing her live, you know, performing. And let me tell you, I was content with going to the show, seeing her perform live, and take my ass on home. I was going to be content with that because I did not think that there was going to be any way for me to see her or take a picture with her or get personal with her. I did not think there was going to be any way for me to do that. But after she got through performing, she was saying that, you know, um, I'm going to come down and I'm going to, you know, say hi to the fans, you know, shake hands, do autographs and everything like that. So I wasn't going to leave until I got a close-up shot of her. I didn't give a fuck if I didn't see her or not. I just wanted a close-up shot of her and I wanted to get a picture of her, put on Instagram to let everybody know that I saw her. So when I got down to the railing, you know what I'm saying? She was shaking everybody's hand and I tapped her like, I tapped her and I was like, hey. And then she told her security guard, hey, can you get, can you bring him around the rail? And from that point on, I knew that she recognized me. It was no doubt in my mind that she knew exactly who the fuck I was. 
So she asked me to come around the rail, and then she asked her family to come around the rail. And we had to wait until she got done, you know, shaking hands with the people that came to the concert. And everybody and a mama knew that I was a huge fan of K. Michelle. Everybody knew that. Everybody knew how nervous I was. My friends were very supportive. So uh, after she got done, she asked us to go to the dressing room with her. Her family went in first. I had to wait, and then the radio people went in next. And then I came in. And from the moment I came in, she was like, hey there, you know I you know I remember you, you know I remember you. Like, And when she said that I, that I knew that she remembered me, I was like, oh my God, like I was so starstruck. And I am not a man that bites his tongue, but last night I bit my tongue because I didn't know what the fuck to say. I was so starstruck. She introduced me to her family and she was like, he's been there with me from the very beginning. He be cussing motherfuckers out on Twitter about me. He be going hard. He's my ride or die. He been there with me from the very beginning. When I remember when I first followed him on Twitter, he goes in for me and whatever. And it was it made me feel so good to know that despite everything that I the people that have blocked me from the Rashida Ali's to the Carly Reds to the people like that, they have blocked me. The 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 tape up at Braxton's, all those people, they blocked me. Because I was standing for K. Michelle and I was going in in the name of Kimberly Michelle Pate. And the fact that she recognizes that made me feel good about myself. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this this woman sees how much I go in for her and how much I ride for her. You know what I'm saying? So, she asked me, did I want to take a picture? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, you better be glad I like you. Then she got up and she took the picture. And then, you know, she was asking me about where I lived at and how I was doing. And, you know, I was talking to her uncles because they got family around here. It was pretty nice. I couldn't stay back there too long because her team told me that I had to leave. But before I left, me and Kay hugged and she said, I love you. And then I said, I love you too. And I said, and I waved bye to her family. And that was basically the end of it. Like, that was like the biggest thing that could have ever happened to me. And I didn't know whether to cry, whether to keep my composure, whether to faint. I didn't know what to do because I just was not ex expecting to meet her by myself. I was the only fan that came around the real, the only one. I was not anticipating that period. I was not anticipating taking a picture with her. I was just going to be content with just going to the concert and just be done with it. But the fact that I got to take a picture with her, the fact that I got to have a conversation with her again, the fact that in, this time in person, the fact that I got to meet her family and the fact that she let me know that she knows me and she knows how hard I go for her, that made me feel some type of way. And right, right now, it's been like 24 hours since that happened. And I am still on cloud nine, and I still can't believe that, that it happened. Like, I just can't believe that this shit has really went down. So, all I got to say is, K. Michelle, if you're watching this, I just want you to know that you don't know how much that meant to me for you to personally ask me to come backstage with you. For you to personally let me know that you see my efforts as a fan. You see how hard I go for you. You see that it's not in vain. You see how I will go in on a motherfucker about you. You see that. You know that I go I go in for you. You know that I'll call you, call you out when you're wrong. And I'll commend you when you're right. You know that. And that's all that really matters to me at this point. So I can give a fuck about what anybody got to say. You know, some people might just say, oh, it's just K. Michelle. It's not Beyonce. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. You know, I go up for K. Michelle. And most people may not know this, but I, I go in for K. Because she is the ideal person for me. She's the type of person that speaks on my struggles. She gives it, she says it raw and uncut just like I do. We have similar personalities. I'm just like her in so many ways. And at the end of the day, that's why I relate. That's why I go in. That's why I appreciate her. So, this would be a day... Yes, last night was a night that I would never forget. I would never, ever forget it. Ever in my life. I would never forget it. And that's all I got to say. So, much love to K. Michelle. Much love to the Rebels. And I'm out here, y'all. Peace.